I need to turn Jimmy, but your sound that's that's good. Good. Sure, I think I bought me for like five dollars. I don't know when we first uh, moved here, like uh, close to thirty years ago, and it's still these chairs are still going strong. Here, let me. Incredible, you know. My friend bought me two. Try to sit one during the um. Marathon when it ran by one year, right? Year after the bombing, and I broke it. Oh, geez. And then I ended up breaking the second one. Yeah, this, these kind of things, they're like. Actually, you know, I wonder if, would it be possible to go? It might, the sound might pick up from. Oh, yeah. like, they don't want to hear us yet. Yeah, is that okay? To so either go, that's the only question. And I'm also wondering if one of you would like to, like, stand. Oh. We could do it together. Great. I would love that. Let's move our chairs first. Or I can move this up a little bit too. I can get up now. All right. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. We're going to get started momentarily. We are getting together in the park. This is our first Shabbat trying this new hybrid model. We, uh, when we're in the sanctuary, come, come September, August, even, we'll, we'll have it down with the sanctuary cameras and everything. Slowly more people are coming.
It's good to praise God. It is so as we continue, as the world starts opening up, we are emerging from this from this narrow place that we've been in this last year and a half, and we've suffered a lot. Um, but we are able to, to join together, to see each other smiles, and are grateful for opportunities, whether it's virtually or in person, for these opportunities to gather as a community. And we praise God for those opportunities. So the bottom of page three. Oh, little Again, the prayer welcoming in Shabbat. Um, and for those of us outside, this is the this is the moment. We literally are running outside to greet Shabbat. As the we can't really see the sun, but as the sun goes down, um, we are getting ready, preparing ourselves spiritually um, to, to greet Shabbat, to, to offer the, us this opportunity really for recharging, for renewing. Um, just like the ancient mystics in Spati, they ran to the fields to greet Shabbat. Um, and for those at home, I want to invite you, perhaps open your door or open your window to greet Shabbat. Maybe rise, do something to bring Shabbat into your home with you. <laughs> Adonai, 
Shabbat entering your body, entering your soul. Take a moment to say, I'm here, I'm present, wherever that is that you are. And we're entering Shabbat together. We're now going to take a moment for those in person. I want to invite you to greet one another. Some of you know each other, some of you may not, but I want to invite you to greet one another. Our Zoom technician, Dominic, is going to put our Zoom folks in breakout rooms. Um, and we will come back in just a moment. Hi. Hi, Rabbi. I'm Mike. I'm Alex. Nice to meet you. Why do you say that? Uh, well, uh, should, I, should it not be nice to meet you? Some people will. Where are the York people? Is that much closed breakout rooms? We need to give people 60 more seconds. Come back in just a moment. Waiting for the folks from breakout rooms to come back in. Jeremy, can you give me the countdown? People are back yet. It's a whole group effort here. We have our Zoom, our Zoom folks, our in-person folks. For those of you who were not here at the beginning, leading with me today is um, my friend and colleague, uh, rabbinical student Yael Werber. So nice to be here. Rabbinical you. student at Hebrew College. And she is part of my pod. So <laughs> we live down the street from each 
together. And I think we're back. Great. Welcome back, yes. everyone. Yes. Welcome back. Again, thank you to, for, for everyone's help with uh, navigating the technology here. We're going to come together again as one whole community for our call to prayer. Please rise as you are able. Shareholders, 
Sing with me if I'm up here, page seven. The, the Midrash, the legend goes that Nachshon ben Avin Adam was the first to enter the sea and the water had not yet parted. And Nachshon goes in up to his knees, up to his waist, up to his chin, and the water has still not parted, but there's nowhere else to go but forward. And finally, Nachshon is entirely submerged and the, the waters part and the Israelites go through the Red Sea to freedom. And it just highlights, this song for me highlights this idea of taking that leap of faith, of the courage that it takes to do so, and how, what are the times in our lives that we can maybe emulate Nachshon ben Aminadav? Who 
wish all of them a refua shlema, all those named aloud, mentioned in our hearts, or written in the chat, a refua shlema, a speedy, a complete healing. And we'll sing the words of Debbie Friedman. Um, page nine. 
Shalom, everyone. Again, it's really nice to see uh, those of you who are in person. In person, it's nice to see so many smiles. It's nice to see those who are on Zoom as well. Um, and I'm going to share a few words from this week's Torah portion, Parshat Balak. Balak is named after Balak, the king of the Moabites. So I want to start with a story. During my summer as a chaplain in a hospital, every day was a new learning experience. It was my first time in a pastoral role with people during times of pain, crisis, and suffering. But surprisingly, one of the most profound learnings for me that summer was not about how to be a pastoral present, but rather I was constantly reminded to open my eyes and challenge the assumptions I made. I often walked into hospital rooms and made a quick judgment about whether a person would be grateful for my visit, an interest or even angry, depending on how they looked. Generally, I have a pretty good gut instinct, but that summer, I often predicted wrong, and each and every time, I smiled as I felt God reminding me not to get too comfortable and to constantly challenge my own assumptions. One particular story stands out, where I walked into the room of someone in a part of cardiovascular ICU who was nearing discharge. He was sitting up, shirt off, his arms, chest, and back covered in tattoos. He was a large man with a ponytail, someone I would expect to see on a Harley Davidson. As I introduced myself, I was sure he would say no thank you, and I would leave and go see the next patient. But to my surprise, he immediately started crying. He talked about his gratitude for the Holy Blessed One, for his doctors, nurses, and medical team, who gave him a second chance at life. I spent about an hour with him, incredibly moved by his words and newfound perspective. And I left, and as I left the hospital that day, I chuckled to myself, remembering once again that my assumptions are often wrong. People can surprise us, and rushing into judgment can prevent us from having meaningful encounters. This week's Torah portion, Balak, opens with the king of Moab, afraid of the Israelites. He hires the sorcerer, Bilam, to come and curse the Israelite nation. And despite God's many protests, Bilam agrees to come and curse the children of Israel. When Balak meets Bilam, he takes him up to the lookout point, from which Balaam can see the extent of the nation. Here, for the first time, Bilam sees the Israelite camp instead of just hearing about it about them from Balak. The Israelites are no longer abstract to him. He cannot demonize them or curse them the way Balak hoped to will. Balak believes that perhaps a change in Bilam's view of the people may enable Bilam to curse them, but this too fails. Then Bilam tries once more to curse the people. In this case, not only does he see the extent of the nation, the entire nation, but he sees, the inter he sees the details about how they interact with one another. The alarm raises, raised his eyes and saw Israel a pink camp, according to its tribe. The famous commentator Rashi adds, he saw that every tribe dwelled by itself and they didn't intermingle. He saw their tent opening, 
were not facing each other so that no one could peek into the tent of his friend. This is where we get the famous line, Matovu al Yaakov, Mishkinotecha Yisrael. How good are your tents, O Jacob, your dwelling places, O Israel. So on the surface, this may not seem like, well, they're not talking to each other, they're not mingling. But Rashi is actually pointing out that Bilam saw a community built upon re respecting one another, respecting each other's space and privacy. He was able to glimpse into their lives, Bilam was able to glimpse into their lives to see how they behaved, to understand as, them as humans, and even relate to them. This is what enabled Bilam to offer a blessing in place of a curse. He was not only seeking God's blessing, but but in but witnessing them, even perhaps believing, believing the words he was saying. We have this opportunity to learn from this story. It's ironic. This story, this story comes in as a pause in our Torah portion. We're learning all about the Israelites wandering the desert, and then we all of a sudden get a pause for this story. So why is it here? We have this opportunity. And I think it's this lesson to recognize that when we do not fully see people for who they are, we miss important. But when we open our eyes, perhaps when we look from a different vantage point, we can appreciate the history, the community, their values, their personality, and then this then enables us to all offer and receive blessings. So I wish you a Shabbat full of blessing, full of offering blessing, and full of receiving blessing. And we'll continue with our concluding uh, prayers of the service, the Aleinu, uh, it's upon us, it's upon us to make the world the way we want it to be, it's upon us to offer the blessings that we want in this world. So please rise as you are able. Aleinu shabbat adon hako, ateinu ha'azer reishi, shehu no te shamayim diyot sedaran, umo shari karo vashamayim ma'al, Ushrina to do big of him around me, who alone they knew, eh, eh, Israel, 
Agala Uzman Kari Bimir Ame, Yehishmir Abba Mevarak, the Allah Bume Omaya, Vibarak, Vishtabak, Vipaar, Vibraman, Vitnase, Vitadar, Vitalev, Vitalav, she made the Kudusha, Vipu, Leilam, you called your Katavashirata, Tushbekata, Venechamata, the Amiran, the Alma, Bimru Ame, Yehishlama Rabba Minchamaya, the Chayim Aleinu, the Apol Yisrael, Bimru Ame, the Seshalom Bimrama, who Yasser Shalom, Aleinu, the Apol Yisrael, the Apol Yisrael, Bimru Ame. Be seated. We'll do a few announcements. Charlie is off, off for the night, off for most of the summer, actually. We wish, we wish Charlie a much needed vacation. Um, but Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Again, it's really, really special to be here, special to be in person. And thank you again for bearing with us, for, for joining us in this hybrid model that we're moving towards. This was sort of the first test, and um, we will be working out all the kinks for the summer services, but as well as many of our summer services are actually going to be on Zoom. Um, and then come September, we'll be back in the sanctuary um, with some new technology there. So thank you. I want to give a few special thank yous for tonight. So I want to thank my friend and colleague, Yael Werber, for leading with me. I want to thank 11th grader or, or rising senior, I guess, Dominique Salomon, who's our Zoom technician on Zoom. He's, uh, thank you, Dominic. I want to thank Mike Clow and Michelle Clow for providing all of the technological equipment. Um, and I want to take Jeremy, thank Jeremy Welt for being our greeter tonight. So thank you all. Um, a few announcements tomorrow morning, we're continuing with our hybrid mode and, and testing out what tour study in person will be like. So join in person or join in, in Wine Trip Community Room tomorrow morning, tour study with Rabbi Vogel, join in person or join by Zoom. We have some also interesting new technology. We'll, we hope you'll make it. Um, that's the main thing, lots of events. Oh, Jeremy and Robin, class, beginning Wednesday, July 7th, join Jeremy and Robin for uh, a learning, a class starting on the book of Daniel, um, Wednesday, July 7th at 7.30 p.m. Down the line, Saturday, July 17th is the holiday of Tisha B'Av. We join with our friends over at Obe Shalom and at Temple Israel. This year, it's gonna be hosted by Temple Sinai in the Wine Trip Community Room. Rabbi Vogel will be leading a Tisha B'Av evening service. Um, and it is, uh, with that, our, our, we're entering summer mode. So things are a little bit quieter at Temple Sinai, but we are still around and we're preparing to, to reopen the building, which we are all very, very excited about. Um, and finally, I'll also thank our friend, Reverend Candace and our friends at Brookline Church of Christ for allowing us uh, use of their backyard, which we're incredibly grateful for. Um, so with that, we're gonna recite Birkat Kwanim. Uh, we need more blessing in our lives. Um, and so I'll invite you to raise your hand um, as the priest did those on Zoom as well. Yivarechecha Adonai v'yishmerecha May God bless you and protect you. Ya'er Adonai pana avelecha v'yichonecha May God shine light upon you and be good to you. Ya'er Adonai pana avelecha May God look upon you with favor and bless you with shalom. Again, thank you. Shabbat shalom this evening. We're going to continue with Kiddush and Hamotzi. Kiddush is on page 11. And I invite you, if you are at home, to grab your wine or your grape juice. All grape juice over here. We'll recite Kiddush together. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Borei peri hagafen Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher kichana v'nitotam ratavanu Meshavar kocho v'yava u'rato Hibrilanu Kikaron l'maase v'rishit Yom Tehila, 
Let me try a Kodesh. Zephelitia Mitzrayim. Ivanu Vaharta. Latanya Kidashta. Mikoala Ami. Veshava Kodesha. Yahava Uratan. Him Kaltanu. Baruch Ata Adonai. And we'll conclude with Hamotzi. Baruch Atadonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Hamotzi Lechem person, I invite you to grab a bite of challah. I hope for those at home, you have some challah that you can eat. And Shabbat Shalom will go out in a little bit of song. Yeah, yeah, nine, nine, nine. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Thank you, Dominic. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Thank you. Of course.